YouTube, what's up, man? More weekend league action. That's what you pay for. That's what you come here for. That's why they watch us. Speaking of watching, you already know the drill. Hit that link below. Go to the twitch.tv slash dub dot. That's where you can watch me play these games live. Also, man, hit that neededgamingstore.com. Cop some new shirts, some new merch for everybody, man. You can get it for your girl, for you, for the kids, whatever it may be, man. Any offense, defense, special teams, coach suggestions, coach placement, player placement, anything you need on the John Madden gridiron can be found, man, turf.com. That link is also below. Make sure you do that, man. I'm playing this guy, TEC Predator. And I'll tell you what, boys, I turn the ball over like a madman in this game. But... You know, that's okay. We're going to be able to, you know, just overcome. Try to overcome. Start the game off with a hit stick from Cam Bam. Chance to learn a pick from Patrick Peterson. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. Lately, man, when I play these weekend league games, I like to put my pass rush on aggressive, my tackling on aggressive, my strip ball on aggressive because I like to get physical. That's what it's about in weekend league, man. You got to show these kids you're not afraid. Speaking of not afraid... Not afraid to throw back across my body to Randy Moss. First down. Got a score here, man. After getting an interception, it's a big deal to go ahead and uh, score points on this opening drive, man. First and goal, we got Vic. Playmaker. Bop him. Get to the goal line. Try to hurdle, but Sean Taylor just kills me. Typical W on weekend league. Fumbling with Michael Vick inside the 10-yard line. That's pretty much what I do all the time. But uh, there we go. Just got it right back where we started, kicking the ball off. See that pass rush on aggressive. Tries it. Ah, it was just a little bit too slow right there. I believe I had Derwin James. Could not run to the give up that, that crossing route that we hate giving up. And you see Barry Sanders bouncing off tackles, man. My tackling's on aggressive. You're going to hit people from time to time, but you're also going to, you know, miss tackles. And speaking of missing, there's Sean Taylor missing the ball. And uh, Tyreek Hill mosses him. Next play, Julius Pepper. Sacks Michael Vick, man. That's that fully chemmed up or fully maxed out Peppers. 93 speed, playmaker, high ball, catching in front of Jamal Adams. Love the offense, my guy. Next play, 38, and Khalil Mack just comes around the edge and says, Come here, sweetie. Michael Vick throws it away. Force him for three. That's okay, man. That one deep pass down the sideline on Sean Taylor is what hurt me. Jamal Adams, I tried to stay in the goal. People ask me, why do I have Jamal Adams kick returner? I don't want to have him a kick returner, but it's the best way to put some extra safeties is to put him as a kick returner. And we see Moss just short alligator arms that he had Jamal Adams on him and just alligator arm that the ball went through his hands kind of, and I could throw a pick. So right there, fumble with Vic. Ball goes through Sean Taylor's arms. Two turnovers to this kid, and he's just going to establish the run. Barkley, Barkley, Barry Sanders, everybody bouncing off. This is sometimes I start thinking, man, I should just put my tackling on the conservative, but we like to stay physical. And right here, speaking of physical, he mauled me, took it to the end zone. Ricky Williams touchdown. Now I'm down two scores. Now I'm down 10 nothing. Now I need to stop playing and go score some points. And when I mean points, I mean touchdowns. Throw underneath here to Calvin Johnson. Get busy a little bit. Spin move one cut first down. Uh, next play, we look. He actually baited me so crazy right there. Was able to hit. Uh, Lurk me there. Should have had a pick, but it bounced off his face. I don't know if he didn't hit wire or what happened. Uh, next play, we're going to go ahead and try to hit Randy Moss again. Rack egg. You know, when he has that step, man, just hold X and trust you're going to get that rack egg animation. Well, up here, we're going to look up top of Calvin. Looked like he had a step. I trusted the rack right there, and I should have held Y. Another pick. A lot of pick. I thought Calvin had a step there, but that new Sean Taylor, man, 99 speed when he's coming up. And he really just caught back up and picked that off. I mean, like I said, I went for the rack egg. Should have held Y for the for the uh, spectacular catch in the end zone. But so that's three turnovers already. And I have zero points against this guy who's just running and running and run. Here's another running and running. And it looked like, like Ricky Williams just literally just got eight yards for him right there. Just got to stop the run. That's all. Here we go. Peppers coming around the edge. Second and three toss goes nowhere. Get to him third down. Here he goes with a little pass play. Those the high ball hits right there. Nice play by him. Nice little mix up. He's back in field goal range. Runs it again. Last one, Franco Harris bouncing off of people. He's going to take this three. It's going to make it 13 to nothing at halftime. I get the ball. We're all right, YouTube. We're going to fight. We just got to stay in this game, man. I'm, you know, here we go once again. Hit that corner. Get that rack animation. Jamal Adams cannot stay with Randy Moss, man. If you like any of this offensive defense, check it out on Madden Turf. Right here, bang. 
we just see Julio Jones at the last second. And for some reason, he didn't have a deep blue over there. He manned him up, and I almost didn't see Julio, but came back to him. Touchdown. Exactly what I needed, 13-7. to Got to keep fighting. Just got to stop the run, man. My safety as a linebacker have to start shedding. My D-line is Clowney. Uh, who is it? It's Clowney, Julius Peppers, Khalil Mack, and Lawrence Taylor. All full versions of all them players. There we see Derwin James getting off a of block, getting to the quarterback. Physical. And we see Jalen Ramsey tackling Ricky Williams. Physical. Third and 20. Got to make a play here. Got to get off the field. Pat Pete out of nowhere swats that. No, sir. Not me. Punt my football. Fourth and 20. He's going to do just that. Uh, try to move Dion so I can catch this punt. But great punt by him, man. He punted from the 26 all the way to my 23. Dump underneath the Dallas Clark because the animations weren't going to pick up four yards on that. But you got to take your check downs. It's there again. We're going to roll out. Go back across crossing route. Bang, Randy Moss. Eating a little hit right there by number 23. Able to hold on to the ball. Once again, ooh, try to hit Dallas Clark. and hit one of the linemen in the head. Sometimes with the gunslinger, Michael Vick, high ball, Julio Jones, hard flat. You got to go for the high ball in between the, the hard flat and the safety. First and 10, throw it underneath here to Julio Jones. Hit stick fumble by the computer. The fourth turnover of the game. A lot of them I'm not sure if I can control. Bad throws, bad throws, but two fumbles for sure. Definitely uh, that one hurt, especially because now the, the time in the game, if he gets one field goal, he's going to win this game. I cannot allow a single point. It's 13 to 7. I cannot allow him to get points. Stop the run right there. Khalil Max shedding on the inside. Get him to a third and long. We're going to run. try to run a little match here. He clicks me on Khalil Mack. Trying to get this crossing route. Ah, match coverage cannot keep up with, who's that? Randy Moss. Pat P could not keep up on that deep end route. It just looked like, huh. so now we got to get a stop. Now, now time's becoming a factor. Stop the run there. Next play. Blocking. Oh, he gets a first down. Pat P grabs him. Derwin James. Oh, now it's tight. Now we're going to get to the two-minute warning, boys. But we got to stop. We can't let him get even close to field goal range. Gets off the block. Got to use my timeouts now. Need to extend this game. Lawrence Taylor off the block. Derwin James, Jamal Adams, all in there wrapping him up, man. Third and long, going for the crossing route. Swatted down by LT Lawrence Taylor. Huge play. Fourth down, kid. What are you going to do? He's going to the same play. This time we're on the crossing route. No dice for you, TEC Predator. First down, good guys. Now we got to go down here and score a touchdown, man. We need a touchdown to win. Tough spot to be. I'd much rather be on defense right now than offense every time. It's hard to score touchdowns. Especially if you get closer to the end zone. Bagged me up that play. Got rid of the ball, man. Time is a little bit of a factor, but I still have that timeout. Hit a little curl over here. I'm not going to run the time. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and, uh, you know, score here. I want to keep the run an option for me. And I I know that I'm, I'm in one-hand spec catch territory right here. I have Calvin Johnson, Randy Moss, Julio Jones. Also have Dallas Clark, all of which can go up and get something. So I feel like uh, time, I'm good on time. But at the same time, if I get inside the 10, I want to. I don't want to be rushed. That's one thing he could do or couldn't do. And what I do right here is I run out of bounds just to save a little bit of time. Now, I could have went down and forced him to call his timeouts, but I just don't want to be rushed. And I think a lot of times maybe I wouldn't call my timeouts on defense right here because it's tough to get a touchdown right here, man. And, and this could be the last drive of the game, last chance for me. So I'm just going to take my time. This way the run is still an option for me. I'm not, My back is never up against the wall time-wise. But, I mean, you could go down inbounds there and keep the clock running and hope he uses his timeouts. I just didn't want to be super rushed. And Ricky Williams is fighting for me. Fight, Ricky. Fight. As you see, he's going to use his timeouts. Now I have to score. Now that's all it's about right now. So now because he uses his timeouts now, I know that he is going to use his timeouts. So now there's no rush on me. You know, I, I'm... I'm I might just hold the water right here on timeouts, man. Make this, make somebody score. You know, it's just, it, it's a, it's a different, whatever you guys think, man. Put in the comment section, would you call your timeouts on defense or not here? Would you force me to race against the time and try to score a touchdown? But, uh, but he is calling his timeout. So I know if I run the ball here, he's going to call a timeout. That's what I do. Try to pop this little fullback dive and he kind of blows it up. Get to a third down. He calls his timeout. Third and goal on the three. This is tough. My offensive line is not much prepared. I don't have huge goons up front. Going to go into some big set like this where it looks like I'm going to try to run. But I'm going to try to look for a high ball. I have Jimmy Graham. I got the power of Jimmy Graham, like 88 overall. 
not that great, but he's tall. And obviously, I still have Dallas Clark. I told you guys last video, if you didn't watch that, Dallas Clark is a goon. Really good wide receiver, really quick. Going to come down with a big catch. And I do have the three stud wide receivers. I have one of them out there. That's what I'm going to look for, man. I'm not going to rely on my offensive line or Ricky Williams getting in the end zone here. I have Dallas Clark, Jimmy Graham. Graham's on a post. Clark's on a, a post or corner. Bang. High ball. Toe tap. Dallas Clark. Touchdown. W. Bang. That's going to give us the lead. That's going to prepare us to play defense. Huge drive right there. Huge play I cooked up. The play action kept his user down. I was pretty much just playing against the computer players. Able to catch that high ball and get the toe tap animation with Dallas Clark. Fully powered up Dallas Clark. Now, we got to play defense. That's all it's about, man. I don't know what I'm, I'm going to play. He's going to go trips tight end. Got to stop a huge tackle right here to hold him the ball on the 14-yard line. That was huge. First play is in split close. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just rush for... See if we can get after it. I switched on aggressive pass rush, and you see Clowney doing what Clowney does. If you watch these chats, you watch these videos, you know I love Jadavion Clowney. Next play, same thing. He rolls out. Nowhere to go. Tries to throw it. Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey. Zip him up. Zip him up. Bang. That's what it's about, man. Jalen Ramsey. Put him in a deep corner of that play. It would click on, come down. I love Jalen Ramsey, man. Six foot two. That agility. The ability to jump in front of the ball, reach out with the long arms, and make a play, man. One meter game, sealed the game up, man. And switching on aggressive pass rush in this situation, fixed the game up. Especially when I got that tackle. Here, I'm still an aggressive ball carrier, so I just run the ball and fall down so I can't take a hit. But, like I said, making that tackle on special teams had him the ball on the 16-yard line, where even if he fake hiked and I gave up a free five, that's okay. He didn't fake hike. Got that huge sack from Clowney, and that was able for me to kind of seal the deal. Forced him to go on a run in front of a quarter in Jalen Ramsey, man. That's why I tell you, man, if, if it's a last-second situation and you still have timeouts, if it's 20 seconds and you got two timeouts, 30 seconds and you got two timeouts, whatever it may be, if you have timeouts, I would advise not taking the ball out, man, because you need all that time. He wasted three seconds, and instead of being at the 25-yard line, he was at the 16-yard line. Huge play, allowed me to put on aggressive, allowed Jadavion Clowney, the Predator, to go after the quarterback. Great win for the weekend league. Me!